Hi, welcome back to another episode of Urban Green Bee. Here I have some um, small hive beetles in my observation hive, and you can see the two right there um, to the right of the screen. And the lower beetle came down, and the bee that's right here, where's my finger, right there, came up, uh, mandibles open, trying to attack it. Um, so that brings us back to that question, are they corralled or is that their little home that they made? It seems to me like both <laughs> um, because they're stuck in there. You can see, let me zoom in a bit, see if the, phone or the camera will focus, not really. Um, focus. There we go. Do you see that? Yeah. The beetle wants to come out and that bee wants to crunch it. So you can see all the bees just waiting there in a line trying to get those little brats. They look cute, but I think they're mad. If you can see their mandibles, you can see that they're trying to get them. Look at that one trying to reach it. Mm. Now, I have my friend Trent in here with me and he has helped me with the bees before, but I don't think he's seen the small hive beetle. Um, and what the small hive beetle does, the reason why they're a problem is because they lay eggs in the nest and the larvae go through just destroying the comb, the wax comb, and it's called sliming the comb. So the larvae leave this slime trail of nasty and it just, and they poop all in it, and they just ruin everything. Let's see what's happening over here. Some more beetles. And now you wonder, are they dead? But they're not because when I shine a light on them, they move. Well, there we go. Oh, you see that? That bee's trying to get that one. It's trying to get away from the light. Oh, that bee's trying to get him or her. <laughs> Maybe a her. The bee's a girl, that's for sure. So generally you find small hive beetle in the bottom super in the back frame away from the entrance of the hive. This is essentially that but in an observation hive. So it's the bottom and it's the back and that's where you find them. So this leads me to believe that the beetles chose to be here but the bees know they're there. Um, and there's some more actually. Um, and they're just out of reach of the bees, little brats. And so that's just an interesting shot. I, I'm, um, it was cool to see the bees try and attack them, but it's still not cool that they're in there. I haven't seen any evidence of the, um, the larvae and sliming yet, but I have not opened, um, I haven't opened the observation hive in a while. Um, since I installed it. Um, so I really have no idea what's going on because it's two, 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 two frames for a total of eight. So I don't really know what's going on, on the inside. On the outside we've got a lot of brood, um, not much food. So I've been feeding them like crazy. I've got this bottle up there. I guess it's maybe I don't know, maybe three to 500 ml, probably more like 300 ml, I don't know, maybe 250. But they're drinking it up in one day. Uh, I just put it in yesterday. So I'm wondering where it's going. Um, it must be going on the inside because I don't see any nectar deposits inside here. Um, so let's just see if we can find some eggs to show you. Uh, I got a better image of some larvae today uh, to show you. So let's see if we can see that. So I don't see any eggs here, but this is still being drawn out. So probably won't see eggs for a while. But here, this is drawn out quite a bit and has been. I'm trying to get it to where the glare is minimized on the camera. So you can see the larvae in there if you strain. <laughs> Let me see, is that easier? What's the best way? Let's see. I don't 
don't know what's the best way for you to see it, honestly. Maybe not like that at all. Because I can see the larvae. Oh. Okay, now I can see the larvae. See the little white, pearly grubs? I feel like this is probably annoying in the video, and I apologize, but you can see the white... Sh oh, look, there you go. The white, shiny grubs. Uh, I don't see any eggs, but it's hard to see them through the camera. Um, so, we're just going to do a little more inspection of this, and then I'm going to feed them again all the way up there. Thanks for watching.